team. So as promised, oh that was cute. Did you do a little? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> back by popular demand, Brandon Bowles, corrective exercise specialist, my personal corrective exercise specialist, is going to be doing a little series with us to help you guys work through some of your poor movement quality. Yes. Did I say that right? This is all about movement quality. Your movement quality will dictate your movement longevity. So if you're moving incorrectly, you won't be moving for the rest of your life like we want you to because we want you to be able to do Jill's workouts forever. Okay? Pain free. Pain free. Most though. importantly, so the one we're going to start with is called Hip Shift. And this is actually something Brandon fixed on me. If you go back and you watch, this is so embarrassing, a lot of my old DVDs, you're going to see Hip Shift. So, should I demonstrate? Go ahead. All right, so walk with me. Okay. So, you want arms up, yeah? Arms up, exactly. Okay. So, what we want to see is Jill go straight down, but you can see she's shifting off to the right. Okay, so you guys at home, what you need to do is video yourself or be very mindful when you're doing this in the mirror, okay? When we see a shift like this, we know two things here. One, that the glute med on this side is weak, and then two, the adductors on this side are overactive, okay? So what we need to do is start off with rolling. We need to roll the okay. tight area, and then we need to stretch the tight area. And then we're gonna do some activations for the underactive side to balance things out. So it goes roll or gun. Roll or gun. Not a real gun. Like massage gun. Massage gun. <laughs> roll don't or don't shoot gun. yourself in the leg. Then stretch. Exactly, then you stretch. You're prepping the muscles. When you do the rolling or uh, the massage gun, you're preparing the muscle to elongate, and that's what you want to do. Okay, which is totally counterintuitive to typical training, because I'm always like, yeah, don't static stretch first. This is totally different. Yeah, but that's what you do the prep for. So you do the rolling first, and then the gun, and then you go stretch. Got it. Okay, so you wanted a hard chair, but you guys can use a foam roller. Mine is packed, because as you guys know, I'm moving to Miami. So unfortunately, <laughs> we're going to work with a chair today, and the softball, which will work as well. Okay, so. It's all right, let me see. What to do, be my best, best way to do this. Uh, you gonna do it or give me a demo? Whatever you think. I feel like I should demo so you can talk. Okay, so what you're gonna do is put the ball here. Preferably, you have a much harder chair than, than wicker. But your adductors are right up here and they go all the way up to your groin here, all the way down your knee, okay? And what we're gonna do is oh, pop up here. Pain. Yeah, this doesn't feel all that great sometimes. But you're gonna make sure that you get the entire area, okay? If this was. If this was wet paint, your entire inner thigh would be painted when you're done with this. It's your body, so you need to explore where your tight spots are, okay? When you're tight, how long do you hold on a tight spot? So if I'm like, oh man, that kills, do I sit there for 20 seconds, or like, what's my strategy? You're gonna feel the adhesion, and that's when you start jumping out of the chair. Yeah, I'm like you're... already feeling scared. <laughs> okay. What you're gonna do is hold that for 15 real world seconds. Let the ball kind of do its work. Just like if you were getting oh a massage. <laughs> oh my God. Just like if you were getting a massage, you don't want to be tight and tensed up, right? You want to be able to be relaxed. So you need to take yourself to that happy place. And what you're looking for is between a seven and eight on your pain scale. So if you can use that in a softball or if you use it with a foam roller, those are numbers that you're trying to find, okay? What if it's a 10? If it's a 10, then you need to figure out a way to back off a little bit so you can oh, take some pressure lift off. Lift some of the weight off. Exactly. Got it. Yep, yep. Okay. So if it's too little, find a way to put some more pressure on. If it's too much, find a way to put some pressure off. And be, you said hold like the, when I'm like, dear God, I'm going to die, 15 seconds or so there. But how long is the total session of rolling that I should be doing on this muscle? Just for this little se section, you can probably finish this in a couple minutes, probably. So, so you would do about three to five minutes, you think, or five is just way too much? Yeah, I'd say you should probably be pretty good oh. with three. It might take you a little longer in the beginning because you're really exploring your <laughs> <laughs> Because you're exploring your body, you have to find out, oh my, oh my gosh, God. that's the area that I'm oh. feeling really tight that needs to relax, right? Okay. Because when you're working out and you're doing your squats, if you are hip shifting, you're continuing to strengthen and tighten that area. Our job now is to go in and relax that area so okay. we can then balance out with the AP. Got it. So in theory, we've been here for about three to five minutes and we've been on a pain scale of seven to eight. There you go. Oh, I know. So <laughs> now we prep the muscle to move, okay? And what we're gonna do is stretch. So the first thing, we're gonna stretch. We're gonna do the frog stretch. Got it. I'm gonna do the frog. Yeah, and, and show them how to do this one because everyone does it wrong. So go there ahead. There are a lot of people that do this Can you see me in this thing, guys? How do I look? Do I look 
Uh, okay. Be... I want you to make so sure. So I see this and this and I see this. So go ahead and tell me. I like going straight back here. So you have two little parallel lines with your legs. Okay. Your knees should be as far apart as you possibly can. Your abs should still be braced. Like I don't want to see overarching in the low spine if you do too no much here. of this. I don't want to go too much here or too much there. Try to stay neutral. And neutral is if you feel like you're going to get punched in the stomach and squeeze your butt at the same time. But with this particular stretch, we're going to have to relax the glutes as we come straight back. I want you to drive your hips straight back to me. Straight back. Straight back, straight back, straight back, straight back. Don't let the back round here. So I want a little bit. Try to stay. Surely. Crap. There you go. Okay. <laughs> so now she's getting a good stretch in the adductors. Okay? I feel it, yeah. So that's what we have to do with the elongate those bad boys. Those are the bully muscles. Those are what are causing her hip shift to happen. Okay? So she can hold this for about 15 seconds and then she can go ahead and swing forward. So she's going to drive her hips straight forward. All the way forward? Oh my gosh. Sit right there, right there. It's good, right there. Okay. It's good. <laughs> Good. Almost like you're driving your pelvis into the into the ground almost, but taking your knees out at the same time. Okay. okay. So I like to have a back position, a middle position, and then a front position. So you go back to the middle position. Go ahead. So which would be straight across, and then see if there's any new range of motion that she could take her knees out a little bit further than she has now. A little bit. A little bit. Never You'll been notice that. Super mobile. Never been super mobile. <laughs> oh, God. We're gonna work on that. We have been. It's so, been better. <laughs> we're gonna keep doing it. It's been way better. Exactly. Uh, I, so about 15 seconds in the middle, 15 seconds in the front, 15 seconds in the back. Oh, got it. Man, it still doesn't feel good. But yeah. I know. I know. But, but it, it gets better feels over time. Better and over feels time. Good when it's done. Exactly. When you've made massive improvements in your biomechanics. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> now. The tight muscles have been relaxed. That gives us a window of opportunity in which to move with greater range of motion and better quality of movement, okay? So what we're gonna do is some activations because we know that the glute need on this side isn't working. That's what lets go when we shift over to the right. So we have to find a way to activate this. One of the, my favorite ones is doing a side plank, modified side plank on the knees. Got it. On the weak side. So she shifted over to her right, so her right hip is down. What she's gonna do is pop her hip up into space and she's gonna really concentrate on that glute meat on this side. Keeping her abs tight like she's about to brace to get punched. Squeezing her glutes, okay? Hold this for as long as you can. Maybe 15, 20 seconds, some people, it's, this is gonna be difficult for you, okay, in the beginning. Hold it as long as you can. You can also add some little pulses so if you go back down to the ground nice and slow control, and then go right back up and really focus on squeezing that. So hold for about five seconds or three breaths. And then you would slowly go back down, pop and hold and squeeze. Abs tight, glutes tight, okay? With emphasis on that right glute knee. Now I know they're wondering, like, do I do the other side? Because that's typical exercise, fitness. You can, but you don't need to because we're focusing on this one thing to correct it and balance it right now, okay? That is the one thing that you guys need to understand that's totally different about corrective exercise is that, you know, when you do a workout, it's like, we do the left and then we do the right. This is about fixing an imbalance because this one's strong, this one's weak, so we're fixing the weak one. And it's funny because when she, we're going to do another activation here and then we're going to go back and, you, and you're going to recheck the squat and you're going to see the difference and I'm going to explain what you're going to feel in your head that might not be correct, okay? So the next thing that we're going to do is a glute bridge. And there's a Can couple. You see? There we go. Okay. Are you in there? Okay. I'm in there. <laughs> okay, glute bridge. So her abs are going to be braced like she's going to get punched in the stomach. Yeah, I already ready. want to go like this. And I know better. Yeah, exactly. So we don't want an excessive lumbar curve. No bueno right here. So abs tight like somebody's going to step on her. Squeeze your butt really tight and then You're drive your on the hands. You can have your hands right to the side. Okay. And you're going to drive your belly button straight up to space and really concentrate on those glutes. Now, we want to focus on one glute right now on that right side. So what I'm going to have Jill do is I'm going to have her kick the left leg straight out, keep it in line with the right leg, raise your leg up a little bit, right there. There you go. Now her awareness should be on her right glute. Oh, yeah, super, super <laughs> tight. Now, if you want to get fancy with this, she can lower the hips to the ground and then drive, concentrate with that right glute. So she's keeping alignment while moving with that right glute meat. The glute meat is stabilizing and that's what it primarily does. How many sets, how many seconds? 
You can do five reps of this for, because everybody's a little different, right? So I'm gonna give you some general. Five to 10 reps of this for three sets with about a three second hold at the top. So squeeze it in your awareness. Awareness is number one. You've got to have the awareness of your glute over here working and squeezing super, super tight. You know, you take five and not a lot when you're focused and race lading. <laughs> Feel it. I'm like, okay, Bruna, that's fine. That's good. She's doing a good job. This is really good. So make sure, go ahead, go back up. Oh, make sure, make, <laughs> sorry, I should have said this one. Make sure when you're in this position that you don't over arc. So go up and show an over arc with that. You, you let it go. See this? Way too much here. So abs tight and tuck the pelvis. So see what she did? She oh, tucked the pelvis. Immediately felt that. And glutes turn right on. I felt so that right away. If you have an over arc, you're going to turn those glutes yeah. off. You need to keep those bad boys on. That's okay. so true. So your whole Right away, right. that little shift that I was like, man. Good. good yeah. Good, good, good. The minute you do that, you feel like it's like so much more intense. Yep. Jeez. Yep. And we need to take that awareness. Once you, the reason why we do these, we, we oh. call these the lessons. The squat is the test. You want to understand the muscles and get the awareness. So what she just felt right there with the glute, now she wants to apply that. Oh, how do I squeeze that glute? How do I make that tight so I don't let it go and shift over to the right, okay? So we're gonna go back. You always test and retest. So we test in the beginning, we saw what the dysfunction was. Hip shift to the right, okay? So we address the tight adductors. We start strengthening the AB ductors, and then we go back and we check ourselves. Did we get any progress in what we just did? And that lets us know, that's the feedback loop is what we did on the correct path for correction. And you should be looking in the mirror, right? Or your phone? You have to, that's how you gain awareness. Do not go off what your mind says. That's, and thank you for bringing that up. Because when Jillian's, when Jillian's gonna squat right here, when she actually is 50-50 on both legs and she doesn't shift over, she's gonna feel in her head that she's a little too much to her left side. That's because this is underactive and this side has been overactive. She's been squatting too much on this side. So maybe she feels that her squat is 60-40 or 70-30 in her mind, but we have to look at the camera, we have to look at the mirror. That's what's true. So if you film yourself, you need to film yourself straight on, and you need to see yourself drop straight down and straight up with no shifting, okay? Super important. So we're gonna tell her to keep her left hip engaged as she goes down. Good. And she looks much more symmetrical. Can you do a little turn a little bit to camera? No, not the oh, that's my bad hip, right? Straight, straight, straight to camera. Oh, straight to camera. There you go. There so you, go. Go. There you, go. So you want to make sure you want to get straight in the middle of the camera so you guys know that you're straight on. And we want to see a straight line from her nose down to the chest, belly button, and straight down the floor. One straight line with no shifting in, in either leg. So go ahead. And then now we want to squeeze those glutes super, super tight. And we come up and want to tuck the abs like we're getting punched in the stomach. Good. Go about half that speed. So when you guys do this, I want you to slow it down. Very slow, very controlled. Gain awareness of your full movement. Feel your knees stay stabilized over your midfoot. Make sure you don't shift. You're squeezing your glutes that we just triggered on that right side, and you're gonna come up nice and smooth and controlled and squeeze those glutes in the abs. Tight. Perfect. Perfect. Well done. Thank you, sir. Well done. That's hip shift. <laughs> we totally forgot to tell you guys where to go to get more Brandon. <laughs> if you want more tips on how to correct your dysfunction so you can have sustainable movement for the rest of your life, pain-free, doing all the kinds of workouts that you love to do, please go on my Instagram, Brandon Bowles X, or my website is brandonbowlesx.com. Brandon with B-O-L-Z, X. Just in case you didn't know that. For exercise, exercise. corrective X, exercise. <laughs> okay team, don't forget, I created this channel just for you guys. So click like, subscribe, and let me know what you wanna hear more about. If it's diet, fitness, wellness, mindfulness, I'm here for you, so give me your feedback.